Uh, big story of last Friday. Tucker Carlson's head writer revealed as having had a secret identity where he, for years, participated in incredibly racist and misogynistic back and forths on one of the most dark hole forums uh, on the internet. And that is not just from years ago, which would not make it okay. Uh, just this week, it wouldn't make it okay, I should say, but it goes up until recently. Just this week, the writer Blake Neff responded to a thread started by another user in 2018 with the subject line, and I don't even, I don't want to read any of this. You know what? It's really racist. That's what I'll say. If you're on the podcast, watch the clip. It's really, really racist. And I don't feel comfortable reading even the redacted version of it. Mm. Um, he he said things like, I wouldn't get LASIK from an Asian for free. I don't, seems weird. LASIK's thousands of dollars. Just, that's a great deal. Um, he said that on June 5th, this is last month. Tucker Carlson's head writer said black dudes staying inside playing Call of Duty is probably one of the biggest factors keeping crime down. And he goes huh. on to say, this is like three weeks ago. Honestly, given how tired black people always claim to be, maybe the real crisis is our lack of sleep. There's lots more. There's tons. You can see it. Oliver Darcy's got a write-up on CNN Business. I'm not going to read through all the stuff. Um, he's a crazy racist who was the head writer for the biggest name in news. Yeah, no, I think everyone should read it. And I, I agree with you, John. It's disgusting to say out loud, but read them. There are many, many N-words. Um, there's, it's it's laden. It's not coded. It's open. And it's openly misogynistic. Uh, he is targeting, he targets like women he, he knows, mm -hmm. which is so weird. He like, a woman that he, that he knows through Facebook, he just starts like, like starting a whole thread about how ugly she is, just like the for most, years, for years, for just years. like what if a thirteen-year-old? You know, you pull back the curtain on Tucker Carlson, and I did expect a thirteen-year-old. And look, it's Blake Neff. No, not Blake Jeff. Uh, just a normal a-hole name. You know, the two first names. No, no, Neff. It's like if Blake Jeff fell downstairs, Neff. You know, like that. Just like the dumbest sounding. Dude, bro, name Blake Neff. Um, if, if anyone watching this is named Blake or Jeff, I still love you. Can't speak for Francesca. Hey, but to put them together and then add yeah. an N. Uh, also, Tucker Carlson apparently said that he was a quote great writer, constantly talking about what a great writer he is, and it's clear that he pretty much wrote most of Tucker Carlson's scripts, yeah. and he lightly edited it. And so, yes, this is what happens when you have an actual racist and then you make it for Fox News and it's just crypto racist, right? They're like actual fascist, crypto fascist. This is you just take out the N word. You take out the F bombs. It's just the, it's the exact same message of mm -hmm. blaming people for their own oppression um, and the hostility and the white nationalism. It's disgusting. And it's 100 percent. A great writer, like this is what's great about it. Also, is like, oh yeah, this is, oh it's a great. I mean, mm, like the the syntax, the number <laughs> of racial slurs that he's All able the to verbs find. Are active. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, no perspective breaks. Adverbs at a minimum. <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, so here's the thing. Like when I saw it, I thought, of course, yeah, he wouldn't have a head writer who wasn't a racist. The funny thing is many people pointed out is that this guy like finishes up a long shift at Tucker Carlson. And then he's like, oh, okay, now I can finally be myself and be more racist. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, oh, I've been, I've been suffering under the, the ever woke environment of Tucker Carlson for too long. Now I can really let loose. And here's the thing. I want to show you like, when I saw the first headline, it was he secretly posted racist things elsewhere. And I thought, well, okay, I get that that's a story. He's the head writer and everything. But, like, isn't it kind of like a bigger story that, like, publicly Tucker Carlson calls Iraqis semi-literate primitive monkeys? Or when Tucker Carlson says that migrants make America poorer and dirtier on that same show? Not secretly, not on a forum. He said that on the show. Or when Tucker Carlson called white supremacy a hoax. Or when Tucker Carlson spread the white genocide South Africa farmer conspiracy theory multiple times on his show. That is just stuff bubbling up 
from the darkest white supremacist forums online straight to the guy with the biggest audience in the world. And that's not secret. That's not a forum. And that wasn't just the writer. That was Tucker Carlson saying this stuff. It was Tucker Carlson that spent the entirety of the, the, the civil rights protests that are going on right now viciously maligning the protesters, calling them the true racists, saying they're coming for you. They're going to be roaming the streets, black militias with guns. I don't like Blake Neff's secret racism, but I am more worried about Tucker Carlson's public racism. I mean, I, I am a little, I mean, Blake Neff comes from the Daily Caller, right? Yep. I and mean, th this is what happens, you know, like all these, all of these people that now have jobs at major, the major outlet Fox News came from places like the Daily Caller or the Blaze or I don't know, you know, uh, Breitbart. And we see the, the fringe to mainstream pipeline so clearly. It's like if, you know, I mean, if only, right, like, you know, stories and things that we spoke about here on TYT made it into any kind of mainstream news, mm -hmm. um, they might actually talk about a real issue. Uh, but yeah, this is behind Tucker Carlson is a 13 year old who thinks bigotry is a personality. Yeah. Uh, and he goes by the pseudonym Charles the 12th. And this is great. Mm hmm. Charles XII was known for his military victories, and um, also he abstained from sex and alcohol, right? That this was the way... Oh my gosh, is that Blake? Mm -hmm. that, that's the that's the photo I've been able to find of him. Oh God. Oh God. So Neff is a history buff, interested in wars and military bases, and is repeatedly disclosed on the forum that he rarely drinks, and I'm sure abstains from sex, which has got to be hard, because look mm -hmm. at him. Look okay. at him. Uh, I will say there does seem to be a sort of connection, a correlation, if you will, between the sort of incelism that is implicit in that with the lashing out, the misogyny. Because remember, it's not just racism. It was extreme misogyny. He seemed potentially more devoted to the misogyny than the racism. Still, horrific racist. Um, yeah. And so, look, Fox News has fired the guy. Tucker didn't bring it up on Friday. He attacked CNN, not specifically about this. Supposedly, he's going to address it on Monday. I'm going to imagine he's not going to take it very seriously. And he's going to imply that this is cancel culture and all of that. Um, and pretend that we shouldn't be worried that an out-and-out N-word spewing racist was writing monologues for this newsman. That's what I would, that's what I would say. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.